Kat, thank you so much for joining us today. So thank we you just, for me. thank you. <laughs> so we just saw your music video. Who are you gonna call? Tell us a little bit about your inspiration behind the song and making the music video. So um, the song itself is, I guess, an anthem for anyone who has gone through sort of one of those relationships where you weren't treated very well. Um, and so you've come out the other end and it's when that ex calls and they're like, hey, how you doing? And you're like, nope, 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 not today. So that's basically what the song is. It's like saying, nope, who are you going to call? Because you didn't treat me very well. So um, I'm not going to be there for you now. And it's, it's an anthem for anyone who basically um, knows the power of saying, no, I don't accept this in my life. So, yeah. I think that's great. I think that sometimes as women, we like have an issue with boundaries, especially when it comes to love. So yeah. Awesome about that. Uh, you created this anthem for women. I'm very excited <laughs> for everyone to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is music something that you always wanted to do? Yes. Music is something that I've always wanted to do ever since I was little. I couldn't imagine wanting to do anything else. Um, it's, it's just, I think, you know, for some people, you, I, I was, I was very lucky. I found what I wanted to do from a very young age and I pursued that. And um, I mean, it's, it's never, it's, it's like anything you, it's, it's never going to be a straight road, but it's the best thing I ever did. Kat, I was just curious to know, so you enjoy music and uh, writing poetry from a young age. You discovered your love for songwriting and you also love telling a story. How do you, how do you incorporate your love for music uh, into your creative process? So um, I've always sung as long as I can remember. Um, probably drove my whole family nuts because I was that kid, always making noises um, somewhere in the house. Um, and um, when I was very young, my parents, I was very lucky. My, my parents got me a piano. So I, I started playing piano and that's where everything sort of started rolling because I would start making up my own melodies on the piano. And because mm -hmm. um, my father really, really loves um, like literature. So he got me interested in poetry from a young age. And so I ended up just basically mixing the two. I, I wrote some poetry as a kid and went, oh, I wonder what this would sound like if I added my melodies to it. And I was very, very young and didn't know what I was doing, but I liked it. So I just kept going. Okay, and my next question to you is, what or who has inspired you into music? Actually, I, um, my biggest influence since I was a little kid was, and it's probably is from millions of other musicians out there, was Whitney Houston. She, um, I, was, I was very little when she was big, and um, I used to sit around the house singing, singing things like, I'll always love you at the top of my lungs, and my parents would be like, oh my god, this is like a high-pitched version of that. <laughs> this is terrible <laughs> so, sorry parents um but yeah that's she was my biggest um my biggest idol when i was a kid so yeah yeah she's my idol too so i can totally relate <laughs> basically was wanting to create something that um, almost like your Valentine's Day anthem, which is, I guess, why the 
the the, um, the name sort of fits. Um, it was sort of really sweet, that sort of first love. You, you're like, be with me. So I, I'll be everything you want me to be. Don't worry about all the other people out there. And it's it's that sort of first initial love when you, you don't know if they love you back yet. So you're almost asking the question. Um, and I really like that because it's cute because, you know, all the way from like little kids can be like, will you be mine? Um, all the way through to obviously when you're older and like, um, I think it's really cute when you see little grandparents holding hands and you're like, oh, I want to be like that one day. So it's the potential. That's what I think the song basically represents. So be mine and forever. <laughs> How would you describe the music that you typically create? Um, so I love doing um, music that people would like to dance to so things that are fun and upbeat but at the same time I also really love ballads and I love um, and I think that's a throwback to my love of Whitney and and um, that sort of style um, so I haven't been able to release a lot of that sort of stuff yet and that's on the cards but um, I like both ends I love something that makes you feel and then at the same time I also love something that makes you go yeah I want to go out to this I want to have fun so <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay, so how do you balance life between music and other obligations like family, you know, personal stuff or friends? Um, I think one of the things is it's important to surround yourself with people who support and love you and are really understanding. So I'm very, very lucky that I've got friends and family who understand that what I do is really important to me and they're really supportive of that. Um, in fact, they, they kind of get the cool perks. Like um, when, when I go to the studio, I've got a few friends and they're like, oh, can I come, come, can I come into the studio with you? So they get like a, an experience sometimes that they wouldn't normally get. So um, I, I think it, it comes with the territory that, you know, you're always working, but you, you try to make that balance. Um, when you do get time with them, you really make the most of it. I would definitely want to know, and I'm sure our viewers as well, what do you do in your downtime? How do you deal with the days where there's not so much going on on a business front or with the creative process? How, how do those, go, uh, those days go about? I like cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I like food. <laughs> yeah, I like food, food. I don't think anyone in the world doesn't like food. Everyone loves food. So um, yeah, like, I cook a lot and then everyone comes over and we share it. <laughs> Please. what's your um, favorite place okay. to cook um oh gosh there's so many things i like cook i'm really bad at baking really bad at baking <laughs> like it just it ends up flat it sinks it explodes it doesn't work out um but i'm really good at like um my mother's filipino so we cook a lot of filipino food so um yeah, yeah i think like everyone's favorite seems to be like a dobo when i cook it so it's a traditional okay. filipino dish so yeah. anyone who's filipino will go, will go oh i know what that is so yeah, no, I've had it before. It's so good. Yeah. So, yeah. Just one, one last thing I would definitely like to know is uh, what you just mentioned about having people that are close to you and understanding. Uh, what, is, what is your takeaway from working in the industry for quite a while now? Um, how important is it to keep small circles and yet to have a collaborative vibe going on, uh, if that makes sense? A hundred percent. It's very important. I think... Um, you know, there's, it depends on your personality, I think. I think some people really thrive in big groups and then other people um, like smaller circles. I'm, I'm actually naturally an introvert. So um, I thrive in a little tiny circle of friends who are very, very, very close. But then at the same time, um, I also grew up um, Filipino and I'm, I'm half Irish as well. So um, we, we're big on community. So I, I think I've managed to grow up with both where you have a big community of people around you who, who all love you and support you. And then you also have your very inner circle, like which would be like um, for most people, their, their family or maybe a couple of friends who um, a shoulder to cry on if you need a shoulder to cry on or someone to be there if you just need to go, oh my God, I've had a terrible day. Can I talk about it? So, and that's, that's really important. I think everyone needs to have that. Um, Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Some people just are better in bigger groups and some be the little ones. So it just yeah, depends just on you. Curious to know, uh, what's your take on it? Um, yeah. This is something that I've been waiting on to ask you is uh, the fact that what music artists would you like to collaborate with? 
you know, oh my I god do. there's so many um but i've got a huge crush on sam smith <laughs> musically yeah he's yeah. got such an incredible voice so and every time yeah. he releases something i'm like oh, play this like a hundred times please <laughs> so he's yeah amazing. he is yeah. he definitely is well, uh, thank you, Kat. Uh, I think this is all the time we have uh, for our interview with you. But thank you for joining us today uh, at Sidewalks Entertainment. Um, we'd love to talk to you more in your coming time. And um, thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. It's been a nightmare with you. Used to be a table for two. You sip, sip by the case. Now I can't stand seeing For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.